Let's start by showing you the basic commands of how to draw walls. Click on the architectural ribbon. Choose the external walls. Brick and block cavity wall. On this occasion, I'm going to pick a 2.4 high single story wall. A dialog pops up. For those of you who already have Estimator Express, you'll recognize these. For the time being, I'm just going to accept the defaults. I can then place the walls anywhere on the drawing. I click with my left mouse, take my finger off the mouse, move to the next position, and repeat the process, clicking, lifting my finger off as I go round. When I finish drawing my walls, I press Escape. Now I've got my walls, I'm going to zoom in on those by placing my mouse in the middle of that particular group of walls and scrolling my mouse wheel out. Reversing the process goes the other way. I can select each individual wall by clicking on it, or I can draw from top left to bottom right to select a group of walls. You'll notice that only the walls that I've embraced with the rectangle have been selected. Alternatively, if I go from bottom right to top left, you'll now notice that all the walls that touch the rectangle have been selected, as opposed to all the walls that were completely embraced by the rectangle. Once I've selected a group of objects, I can now copy them rotate them, or in this case, delete them. Let's see that again. Select the walls, click, the walls appear selected, and you can then delete them using your keyboard. I'm now going to draw some more walls, but this time I'm going to constrain them to be at right angles, since most houses are constructed with walls at right angles. I click on the wall. This time it's remembered the previous wall I've selected. Again, I can zoom in and out. I can also press the middle mouse button to drag the drawing around to get the drawing in exactly the position I want. I can then click, and this time I'm going to press the shift key on my keyboard. You'll notice that the wall is at perfect right angles. If I keep the shift key pressed down and move my mouse across, you can see that everything is kept perfectly at rectangles. If I now press S on my keyboard, the software automatically assumes that I want to go back to my starting point and I then have a nice rectangular house. I can zoom in on those again using my scroll wheel and out the other way. If I want to lay out my house using dimensions, I can select my walls again, click on the drawing. And you may have noticed down at the bottom right hand corner, the X and Y coordinates have appeared. If I click on those and move my mouse, you'll now see the dimensions have appeared. I could also have gone into the dimension mode by pressing the F8 on my keyboard. Again, I'm going to hold my shift command to keep everything at right angle. I can zoom in and position it exactly on the dimension that I want. Keeping my finger on the shift key, I can see the precise dimensions that I've got. Again, I'm going to press S to close. I can leave the dimension mode and return to snap mode by pressing F7 on the keyboard. Snap mode allows me to snap on ends and middles of walls, etc. If I then repeat the process,
Press F7. The dimensions have disappeared. Press F8 and they reappear. If I press F7 again to go into snap mode and place my mouse over the starting point, you'll see that an end point has appeared and a dotted line. If I move it carefully over to the right and press the shift key, the two points have lined up exactly. I can then press S or C on my keyboard to close it. And once again, the loop is closed. I'm now going to show you how you can set out a building even more quickly. First, I reposition the drawing to make space for the new foundation. Holding the middle mouse key down, I can move the drawing around, zoom in and out to create the required space. Click on the wall button and place the wall on the drawing. This time though, I'm going to press the down arrow on my keyboard. A dialog appears into which I can enter the dimensions of the wall. This time the wall is 8,500 millimeters long. You'll notice that it's done the internal dimension of the wall at this stage. If I wanted to do the external dimension, I need to change the justification. I then hit the right arrow on my keyboard and enter the length of the wall. I then press the down arrow to put a front projection, enter 1200 millimeters, Another 400, 500 millimeters to the right. Press my up key, enter 1200 millimeters, and finally enter 4500 to the right. I can then use my S command to complete the building. Zoom out, see the whole drawing, and move it over. Let's have a look at the 3D images of the houses we've drawn so far. Click on the 3D preview button and the 3D window appears on the right hand side of the drawing. I can resize that drawing by placing my mouse over the edge of the frame, holding the mouse key down and dragging it across. The same on the other axis. I can then zoom in using my middle mouse hold the button down and I can explore the images that I've created. I can change the appearance by clicking on the different buttons. There's the shaded view, the wireframe and the transparent view.